my unique queens kiana unique here welcome back to my channel today i have another diy for you we are going to do a awesome little handbag with this faux leather that i got from walmart about a half a yard for only five bucks you guys amazing of course we're not going to use this whole thing to make a bag that would just be crazy but what we're going to do is we're going to measure out uh, 15 inches by 12 so it's a 15 by 12 bag and as you can see I folded it down and made a fold for the bottom half so that way we won't have to sew the bottom half I thought that was pretty clever anyway I also purchased a zipper and I got an extra long zipper it's about 22 inches you can get a 19 inch and it'll work just fine then here I have some extra fabric at the house that I did not use and I decided to use that for the lining. You do not have to have a lining. You're also going to need pins, some needle thread, and some kind of accessory to attach to your bag. Now I bought this a long time ago but as you can see you can make this with some chain and those clips that you use for keychains. Anyway, what you're going to do is line up your inner liner fabric with your outer fabric. Now, this fabric, if you get this exact fabric, you don't really have to put a inner lining in there because it's nice and soft. But I decided to do this just for the video. As you can see, now that I am have it cut out, you're going to fold it in half and cut it in half. We want to make sure that our inner lining is two separate pieces. So you cut it in half and you'll have two separate pieces. Now it's time to attach the zipper. You are going to lay your outer fabric face down, then place your zipper face down as well. Now the inner liner fabric, you are going to place it along the zipper face upward. So once again, fabric face down, zipper face down, inner fabric face up and then pin it all together along those seams and you're going to sew all of this together. Now you're going to do the same thing on the other side. As you can see I have one side here. You're simply going to flip it over and make sure that the outer fabric's face down, pin everything together and sew it now all fabrics are attached to the zipper flip your inner lining to one side and your outer bag fabric to the other side we're now going to sew the bag closed you're going to sew along the outside of the fabric leaving the bottom unsewn as well as the bottom of the inner lining unsewn now i have everything sewn together here that piece that you left open you're going to put your hand in there and turn the bag right side out Make sure that you leave your hole wide enough for your hand or fist to fit in. That way you ensure that you're able to bring the bag all the way through. And then you want to kind of stick your hand in here and push out each corner. Make sure your bag is fully, fully open and every corner is popped out. Once that is done, pull the inner lining back out and we're going to sew close the bottom portion of the inner lining. Now the bag is all sewn. You could stop here or if you want to attach something to your bag, you could have done it before or after, but I wanted to do mine after to show you guys how you can place something on it afterwards. So you're simply going to take some of the fabric and I did not measure this at all but it's probably about a half an inch wide strip you're going to cut that from the extra fabric and you're really just going to eyeball how big of a loop you want to hook on each side of your bag then what you're going to do is cut those pieces and tuck it into the inner corners of your bag and then you're going to turn it inside out and hand sew them on. The bag is complete. Now you have a clutch bag or whatever you want to do with this bag, but it is stylish. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, you guys, be unique. See you next week.